Jack Anderson. I'm Jack Anderson, Vice President of the Living Legends of Auto Racing, and we specialize in the history of auto racing because it's a dying sport. None of the young guys know who us old guys are. Sure, my name is uh, Ed Thurston. I'm uh, originally from out of Blasto, New Hampshire. Came down here for this uh, car show that the uh, Living Legends of uh, Racing are putting on. Um, I brought my 31 Ford uh, little street rod with me. I've had it for a couple of years. Some 31 uh, body, steel body, original body on a original 32 chassis. Um, it's got a uh, 350 Chevy motor in it, 350 automatic, drop axle in the front, disc brakes, just a nice little driver. Uh, it's probably 18 or 20 years it's been uh, assembled. I can't take credit for putting it together, but uh, it's a lot of fun. Uh, yeah, but, uh, it's a great place to use a vehicle like this with the sunshine. Uh, in New Hampshire, I've owned it for two years, and I've gotten more use out of it here in two months than I have in two years. And then I'll it. Hi, today uh, my name is Ron Mackerel from uh, Raleigh, Massachusetts. Kind of out of place down here with uh, in the south, but uh, we're down here at the uh, Drive-In Church of Daytona during Speed Weeks 2014. Uh, for the uh, get-together for vintage race cars and drivers uh, for the uh, Living Legends Auto Museum and, uh, and Club. And uh, what we brought down today was a, is a uh, 1937 Ford flat-back sedan, two-door sedan, with the Ford flathead engine in it. And this is a car typically raced in the 40s and 50s. This car, I'm told, was raced in, uh, in around the Myrtle Beach area up into um, the 70s. And uh, the interesting point that I like about this car is it was used in the filming of the movie Grease Lightning with uh, Richard Pryor and Bo Bridges. And that was a movie about the uh, life and times of... Uh, Wendell Scott, one of the first uh, Negro drivers uh, in NASCAR. And you might be interested. Let me let me see if I can tell you a little bit about Wendell Scott. Now he didn't drive this car. Again, it was just used in his movie uh, as a one of the other cars that raced in, in his class. But uh, Wendell Scott um, was a uh, taxi cab driver in. Uh, Dawson, uh, excuse me, in uh, Danville, Virginia. And uh, to pick up a little extra money, because he wasn't making much money in the, in the taxi business, he drove a little moonshine, which uh, a lot of the fellas did back then to, to pick up some extra cash. And uh, unfortunately, he got caught. And uh, while he was in jail, the promoter at the racetrack, the local racetrack, thought uh, he could draw a good crowd if he had a... Uh, a colored driver. So he made a deal with the sheriff to uh, have uh, Wendell come out and race at his racetrack, advertise it, do a lot of people, and uh, that was Wendell's start from that little track in, uh, in Virginia. He made his way into NASCAR. It wasn't easy. He, you know, back in that, in that time, it was a rough, uh, a rough goal, but he did make it to the highest level, which was Grand National. He did win a race in Jacksonville, Florida, and uh, went on to race for quite a while, finally got hurt in Talladega and retired. And uh, there is a book, I wish I could think of the name of it right now, but you can find that online. And also, uh, you can still find the movie Grease Lightning, which is an interesting movie. Well, I hope you find that uh, uh, entertaining and interesting. Thank you. And my name again, Ron Macarell, Raleigh, Massachusetts. Thank you.